Hello and welcome to this managerial accounting video on exercise 9.2 where we are going to review identifying cash inflows and outflows as part of the capital budgeting process. Um, make sure that you have your handout printed and it should look like what's on the screen right now. Okay, so our company produces herbal supplements um, and is looking to replace a seven-year-old machine with a new packaging machine. The new machine will cost $150,000 and we have some other data here about the machine. They want us to identify the amount and timing of all cash flows related to the acquisition of the new packaging machine. All right, so before we look at the details, let's just recall that anytime the company is receiving cash, or if the company is saving cash, we consider that to be a cash inflow. So an inflow is anytime money is coming in or we're saving money so we're not spending money. Okay, a cash outflow is anytime we are spending money. So anytime money is leaving the company. All right, so let's take each of these items. We have uh, the new machine that costs $150,000. So let's put that here. All right, and that's going to be a cash outflow. And we also want to identify the timing of the outflow. We're going to say in year zero. And year zero means right away. So if we buy this machine, we're spending the money right now. All right, so in present value terms, that means we don't have to do any present value calculations. It's already in present value. Okay, next is installation. Installation will require an additional $3,000. So let's put that $3,000 here. That's going to be the same as above. We're going to have an outflow and it's going to be in year zero. All right, next uh, tells us that the new machine was, will have a salvage value of $4,000 after 10 years. All right, so $4,000, um, but that will be, so what will happen with that? That's going to be an inflow. That means after 10 years, we can sell the machine for 4,000. So that's going to be a cash inflow in year 10. All right, and so that's going to require the present value of a dollar. Right, it's one sum and it's going to happen 10 years from now. Okay, next thing the variable cost to operate the new machine is $10 per carton compared to the current machine's variable cost of 1010 per carton. And Berger expects to pack 250,000 cartons each year. All right, so what they're saying is that we will save 10 cents per carton. So I'm going to just put a little asterisk here so we know that we're going to put the calculation down here. All right, so we're going to be producing 250,000 cartons a year times we're going to have a 10 cent savings on each carton. So that means our savings will be $25,000. All right, so up here we're going to put 25,000. And remember what we said about cost savings, that counts as an inflow. So this is going to be an inflow and it's going to happen every year. So inflow in years one through 10, that's going to require the present value of an annuity concept. Remember an annuity, equal payments, equally spaced in time. So we'll have that inflow every year for 10 years. All right. Next, if the new machine is purchased, Berger will avoid a required $10,000 overhaul of the current machine in three years. All right. So this is a cost savings again. Okay. So that $10,000 will be considered an inflow and it will be in year three. So that's going to require present value of a dollar again, All right? One sum that's going to happen three years from now. All right. Finally, the current machine has a market value of $12,000. And if we buy the new machine, then we're going to sell the old machine. So that is also going to be an inflow in year zero, which would happen right away. Okay. Okay. So 
That's the end of this exercise. I hope you find this helpful in identifying cash inflows and cash outflows as they pertain to capital budgeting.